Watch. Well, the head of Knoxville's Catholic Diocese responding to the sex abuse scandal coming out of Pennsylvania. The fallout has been a global headline. A grand jury in Pennsylvania releasing a report that outlines the abuse of more than 1,000 children by hundreds of priests for decades and claims that leaders within the church took steps to cover it up. Also, we've told you about the call for Pope Francis to resign coming from within the church in an unverified letter by the former Vatican ambassador to the U.S. claiming that he told Pope Francis five years ago about sex abuse allegations leveled against a cardinal who's now resigned. Well, new here at 6, WATE 6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens talking to Knoxville Bishop Richard Sticka. Blake joins us here in the studio. So what is the bishop saying right now with all this talk swirling around the state of the Catholic Church? Well, hey, Kristen. Hey, Lori. He says he is sorry as a leader in the Catholic Church. Sticka says anyone involved in abuse should be terminated of priesthood and punished. He says anyone involved in a cover-up should resign, even if that's the Pope. He says the allegations in the Attorney General's report predate new standards for the church. He says no priest currently serving is being investigated for abuse. I cannot find any justification, any understanding of how an adult can abuse a child, especially a priest, because that priest at one time felt the call of priesthood from Jesus. Come follow me. And he did. He went to seminary. He probably could have done great things. But also there was this darkness, uh, a mental illness, whatever you call it. But I, I think the one way to destroy, to try to destroy the Catholic Church is to destroy uh, the priesthood. Bishop Sticka of the Knoxville Diocese yeah, telling me uh, sexual abuse isn't exclusively a Catholic problem, but a society problem. He thinks we might associate it as a Catholic problem because of the size of the church with half a million priests worldwide and more than 1.3 billion parishioners. More than 72,000 Catholics call East Tennessee home. If a bishop looked the other way, or if a bishop tried to protect the institution, tried to avoid scandal, then, then Satan touched his heart too because uh, it's just so horrendous. It's just so horrendous. Sticka touting changes in 2002 called the Dallas Charter, which brought stricter guidelines for dealing with allegations. It also came with background checks. He says the diocese is audited every year by an independent group through reviewing paperwork or visiting individual parishes. The church refers any abuse claims to an independent board made up of law enforcement and a psychologist. Sticka also urges any possible victim to call police. In order for something to be healed, you got to deal with the, the wound, the sore, the blister. And that's what we're doing now. We're dealing with our past. I think everything that we have in place since 2002 is working. Statistics show us. And we've also educated kids that it, to, for them to say it, that it's okay for them to say, I feel uncomfortable with this, or, or this is something that is just wrong. Stick a hoping this dark hour leads to purification and accountability. We rebuild it one priest at a time, one bishop at a time, uh, one person at a time. You know, uh, there was an old song uh, from the 60s. I didn't like the song a lot, but they'll know we are Christians by our love. You know, and, and I think that's the way to do it. Well, the Knoxville Diocese covers basically all of East Tennessee. It includes I cannot more, find any it includes more than 50 churches. Sticka says there has been one case of sexual abuse here. You may remember Father Bill Casey was sent to prison in 2010 for sex crimes dating back to 1975 in Kingsport. When Sticka learned the allegations had some credibility, he stripped Casey of his priesthood with permission from Rome. So this is certainly, guys, not something the church is dealing with for the first time. All right, Blake, thank mm -hmm. you so much. And we do want to reiterate, Bishop Sticka says his number one piece of advice to mm -hmm. anyone out there who may be the victim of abuse is to call police and report it immediately. Mm -hmm.